Hi, in this clip we begin our little mini-series on friction. And we're going to study various aspects of friction. But first of all, let's take a look at how we will measure the friction. I'm going to pull a block along a surface with a spring balance at a constant speed. Now watch this very carefully. I will try to make this as steady as possible. Now if I pull something at constant speed, the forces are balanced. Constant velocity means forces balanced. The pull force must equal the friction. This is how we can measure the friction. What we want to do is find out what does friction depend on and what does it not depend on. You might be surprised. So first, I have four blocks, and they're all about the same size and the same weight. And uh, with a spring balance, I have found the weight of them. Each one is about two newtons. Now what we're going to do is measure the friction pulling one, and then two of them stacked, three of them stacked, and then four of them stacked. And then we will plot a graph of the friction versus the weight. So let's take the data and plot a graph. It's friction versus weight. There's the data on the right. I suggest you hit pause and try it yourself first. I've put 0, 0 as a point. If there's no friction, there's no weight, no weight, no friction. And at 2, it's 0.5. And at 4 newtons, it is 1. So we'll put our little dot there. And at 6 newtons, it's 1.5. We'll go up a little bit. There we go. And now, let's see, 8 is 2. So I'll plot that here. Now, it looks certainly like a linear relationship to me. So I will draw the best fit line. So the line of best fit, let's take a look. Right about, I think, here. So we see that in this case, the friction depends on the weight. Now there's more to say, but for now, the friction depends on the weight. <laughs> 